I've not been this particular patch of Sherwood Forest for a couple of years. These, of course, are orchids in particular. These are all common spotted orchids. And this little opening at the side of a track in Sherwood Forest is full of them. And if anything, they're spreading on the path as I walk down to this particular spot. There are common spotted orchids dotted along on one side of the path. I've mentioned many times about how poor Sherwood Forest is for its floral diversity and orchids are as rare as hen's teeth. But here in this patch they grow in profusion. One of the best and densest colonies of common spotted orchid that I know. And at the moment they're all absolutely in the peak especially these two here. Common spotted orchids tend to vary in their shade of pink. They're all a shade of pink, although I believe you can get some that are white. There are a couple that are pale. And these two here are probably the darkest of them all. But it's just fabulous to see orchids en masse as they are here. Always nice to pop along and see these. This is another plant, another orchid that quite often turns up on some form of pit tops in spectacular numbers in some places. Amazing. They spend years in growing and obviously must need that disturbed land because where they are here at one time many years ago it just used to be an open area with lots of bracken in fact many many years ago on one nice sunny day I disturbed a fawn a young deer from the bracken here but then at least on two or three occasions this area has been used for stacking logs during pine removal once the pine has gone, the vegetation grows, doesn't grow very much. Lots of stony ground. And that's probably the reason why we have so many orchids in this spot. There are similar situations in the more pine forested areas of Sherwood Forest that don't have these. Yet it's the same roadstone that they invariably have to put in over time. I'll excuse them this occasion because we've lost a few pines over the years here but we've gained these magnificent flowers. I love orchids of any kind I don't go out of my way to look for some of the rarer ones that we have in Nottinghamshire, none of which are really nationally rare anyway. It's always nice though, a highlight of the day when you turn up one of these. And singly, they can look quite inconspicuous amongst the grasses. But they like to grow where the vegetation is quite sort of loose and open and the ground is fairly stony and compacted. The forest track sides in this particular area of Sherwood Forest are ideal. Elsewhere in the forest they are really really rare and unusual. Thankfully in this little oasis here they're not that rare and unusual. Another plant that really, I suppose, suffers from what I call the disease commonitis. Commonitis is a common disease regularly found in entomologists and probably in botanists too for something, although very beautiful, is common. 
and less excitable. I always get a kick out of seeing orchids. And I think everybody should. I'll never fail to be impressed or excited at seeing an orchid. We're not overrun with them in Nottinghamshire. So when you do see one, well, even one of the commoner ones like common spotted orchid here, it's always nice. It always puts a smile on my face. I love to see orchids. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful colours and shapes. The flower is absolutely beautiful. Flower spikes are very different as well. You get some that are relatively small and quite thin in terms of flowers on this one and then you get others that are twice the size of these, twice as many flowers on. They're still beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I will be coming here again, no doubt, either next year or a couple of years. Because I love to see these. These have fair made my little day today. Even if it is common.